Hey folks, welcome back to the Top Secret Window Dog Test Layer. Today we're taking a look at the Simonton Reflections 5050 window. This is a lower end window from Simonton. It's got some decent features though. Uh, if you're looking for a cheaper product, it's got some advantages and some disadvantages. We'll take a look at it and we'll see what we think. Get ready for fun. All right, so taking a look at this window, we're gonna start on the inside. What you'll notice right off the bat is you've got a relatively thick frame and sash here. Um, you get the same thing on the bottom. This is the same thing you'll get with the Simonton 5500 window that we've reviewed previously, and it's not an ideal feature. Again, if you've got a big house with big windows, maybe a little um, inch on each side isn't such a big deal, but if you've got a smaller house with smaller windows or an older house that tends to have smaller windows, it could make a very dramatic difference in the amount of light that you get into your home. So you want to keep an eye on for that when you're looking for windows. There are other models in a similar price point that will give you more glass area. So if that's important to you, watch out. As we're looking at this model, we can open it up. Uh, you'll see it slides similar to the 5050, or I'm sorry, similar to the 5500 window that we reviewed previously. Uh, the drawback to it uh, is caused by using the constant force balance mechanism. That's that coil balance that's inside the frame. You can see our video on balance systems to understand the differences. It's not a horrible product, but it is a cheaper way to go, and you can kind of feel it when you're using it. Um, the one in this sample, just like the other one we tested, is just a little bit too strong. So when you kind of just push it a tiny little bit, it springs open. It's pulling up too hard. Uh, and then when you want to move it down, you got to push it a little harder. Not the end of the world, but it makes a difference. When you tilt in these sashes, you'll see both the top and the bottom tilt in for easy cleaning. Uh, sometimes you show that to a customer, or a potential customer, and they go ooh and ah over the tilt-in sashes. Uh, I know it's kind of a neat feature, but remember every single replacement window in the world does that now. So it's really not, uh, not anything special nowadays. You've got double weather stripping on the side, uh, similar to the other Simonton window models. Again, the double weather stripping doesn't matter what if it's a two or three or four or five, what do you care? What you care about is how tight of a seal does it give you, and you cannot tell that by looking at the weather stripping. You have to look at the air infiltration ratings. For detailed information on air infiltration ratings, take a look at our website at thewindowdog.com, and you will see uh, how to understand those. But uh, it's got two pieces there. You've got one piece here at the meeting rail, and you've got an interlocking meeting rail, similar to the other Simonton models, where you've got a lip here and a lip here, and when the window shuts, those two pieces interlock to try to prevent drafts coming through the middle. Again, I bounce down the top when I shut the bottom, which is a kind of a weird thing, um, but the way these windows are sealing, they just uh, feel kind of strange. Uh, moving on, you've got night latches here. Oh, haha, <laughs> fooled me. Simonton 5050 window, they're trying to cut corners. They're trying to make a cheaper product. It's a price point product. They only use one tilt latch instead of two. Um, kind of weird. How much could this little thing cost? I bet at the plant that costs less than a penny, each of those. Um, but for some reason they thought, let's only put one. I don't know, would you pay a penny more for a window with two? Probably, I would. But there it is. Uh, if a burglar was trying to slam into that to break in, uh, would he be able to? Yeah, probably. He'd probably be able to break in if he had two of them, but he'd be able to break in a lot easier with just one. Um, but it is a nice little feature. It gives you about four inches of opening here. Keep the dog inside, keep the kid inside, keep the burglar outside. Um, so. Not a bad feature, just kind of weird. Um, same, also the same as the Simonton 5500 window that we've looked at. You do not have a balance cover. It means you have an open channel here. Uh, what that does for you is when you're going to clean this window after it's been installed for a couple of years, it's got some dust on it, you're going to end up just kind of banging your knuckles on this thing, trying to get in there with a rag to clean it up. You're never going to succeed in getting all the dust out of there. And once you get it wet, trying to clean it, it's going to streak and look even worse than it did before. And you're going to think, why the heck isn't there some kind of cover on here? Uh, you will notice most other replacement windows will have a balance cover on here. Um, I bet a balance cover costs five cents, maybe. Maybe a pair of them costs five cents. So you could have a much nicer product here if you paid one penny more for a night latch and five pennies more for balance covers. You'd be looking at a product that costs six cents more and it would be demonstrably better. Why don't they do it that way? Well, the only reason is they're protecting their higher end models. When you look at the higher end Simonton models, they'll have that stuff and they'll say, oh, you want to pay $200 a window more, $150 a window more for this nicer product. You think, well, what makes it nicer? And they say, well, it has balance covers and it has another night latch. Well, okay, that's six cents worth of stuff they're charging you $100 for. Um, kind of questionable, but that's that. Flipping around to the outside, you'll see on this puppy, uh, first off, we've got flat grids on this uh, window. It means it's flat, it doesn't have any contour or any shape to it, it's just a rectangle. It's in between the glass, so it's easy to clean the glass still. You don't have to clean four squares, you just give it one wipe down. Uh, one drawback to it uh, with the flat is it just looks 
I don't know, plane. You can get contoured grids that has a little more detail going on. Strangely, Simonton charges extra for contoured grids, where most, or at least some other manufacturers do not. Uh, from my experience working in a window plant, the cost to produce contoured grids is no different than flat grids, so it's just a margin play for them, but you know, you gotta run your business how you see fit. Uh, you will also see the relatively dark, low coating here. I know it doesn't show up too well on camera, but you can see a bit of a green tint through this glass. Oh, it turns the grids green. These grids should be bright white, same color as the frame, uh, but looking at them in person, especially, they do look kind of green. Uh, that's because Simonton has to use a darker tint in order to meet the Energy Star guidelines. Many other window manufacturers can use a lighter, low coating, still achieve the ratings, and you get more visible light through the window. So that's something to be aware of as well. Next thing to look at on this guy is this screen. This is this cheap screen uh, that Simonton makes. As you saw in our video on the 5500 model, it had the nice screen. This is not a nice screen. This is a piece of crap. These are roll-formed frames here. I could completely bend this in half without even trying. If you have a little six-year-old kid gets the handle of this, he's just going to bend it in half, you're ruined. You've also got external corner keys, which are the white parts here that join the pieces of the frame together. You notice in our video on the 5500 had the internal corner keys, which was much tougher. Uh, you've also got the spline that goes to the outside. The spline is the rubber piece that holds the screen into the frame. I think it's on the outside, uh, which has two main drawbacks. One is it's uglier, and two is it's exposed to the sun. So this is a rubber piece. In fact, this one's already bulging out. This is a sample window I picked up from the distributor yesterday. This sample window has been out of its box for one day, and this spline is bulging out of here. It's just a really junky screen. I wouldn't, uh, I would steer clear of a window just because of the screen. In fact, it tells you about the, uh, the quality or the attention to detail that goes into this model. You can tell when a window has a screen this flimsy that they are trying to make a cheap product. So if you're buying windows because you're flipping this house, you're gonna move out next week, or it's a rental house and you just wanna put something in there that looks a little nicer than the old worn out windows you have, uh, maybe this fits the bill, but I don't know, I wouldn't put these things in my house. Um, see what I mean? Uh, moving on, you do have a fully welded, or not a fully welded, but you have a fully sloped sill here, which is nice, and a nice big fat bulb seal on the bottom. And you'll have the weep holes on the outside, which allow any water that comes in through the uh, frame to drain out the bottom of the frame. A uh, drawback to that, of course, is they can get clogged. They can get leaves and spiders and twigs and stuff in there. And uh, if they don't allow the water out, the water will back up and leak to the inside. Most all the newer window designs out there will have a fully welded sill where it's welded all the way across the bottom. So there's nowhere for water to get in. And if there's nowhere for water to get in, water does not have to get out. You have no chance of leaking. This one doesn't have that. Um, again, it's just a, just a cheap window. But in order to give you one upside, excuse me, looking at this puppy on the outside, the screen track, the way the screen tucks into the frame here, I think looks a whole lot nicer than the Simonton 5500 window. It looks more like it's part of the window and less like it's an afterthought or something that's just stuck on the outside. If they would use this frame and put some of the nicer features from the 5500 model on there, they would have a slightly nicer window, although it would still be the equivalent of a 10-year-old design. So until Simonton upgrades their window products, you know, they're just not the, not the latest and greatest these days. This is a cheaper model at the 5050. We'll also take a look at the Simonton Assure, which is even cheaper than this one. And um, I suppose you can make your own decision. So check us out online at thewindowdog.com. You'll find hundreds of detailed replacement window reviews. You'll find under, ways to understand common window sales tactics, ways to understand window ratings so you know what you're buying. And you, you will not find any more detailed source of replacement window information on the entire internet. We promise you that. So check us out online. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them. We love hearing from you. And we'll be sure to respond.